A big response for you guys, obviously, coming off the New York game. How important was that to see that from the team? Well, I, I knew that we'd get it because I've seen it time and again with this group. Disappointed in that last game. Um, you know, we've had some of those, but, uh, you know, you, when you look historically speaking over uh, the three years, um, we, we've gotten that type of response. Um, and uh, real pleased. It's it's all in the players. You know, they're the ones inside the lines performing, and their mentality, uh, the chemistry as a team, and their individual performances from start to finish across the board. Uh, you know, all that was there, and that's why it led to a good performance, and that's why it led to three points. How big is it to be able to play Kansas City at this point when you guys are right, you know, right around them in the standings? Well, I think in some ways the way, way the results played out was good because we seem to play really well when our backs are against the wall, you know, when we have that natural tension and that edge. Um, so I like the fact that we won and San Jose won because I know the guys know that we have to win this next game. And, you know, we talked a lot about a response after, you know, the loss, but I, I want to see a response now after the win. You know, you, you do need to respond after big wins sometimes too. It's not always getting a response just after a loss, but we need a good now follow-up performance after the big win. Um, and, but I like the fact that we're only one point ahead because I'm not worried about the performance and the response that I'm going to get because the guys will know, and I don't even have to tell them, that we need to get three points versus Kansas City. You'd made the decision to start Rodney, uh, sit Milano. Can, can you just talk about um, the thought process behind that? Yeah, I mean, obviously with every decision that I make, there's always a lot of layers that go into it. Um, but we felt with Rodney, his experience, um, you know, being in a playoff push, um, his experience uh, playing on the road, playing the crew, uh, being in games in the trenches in MLS, that, that was a factor, um, big factor was his ability to defend. You know, Awful is one of the best right backs in the league, and we knew a big part of the crew's attack, um, you know, comes from him bombing on. And, uh, you know, we knew we needed a winger in the game that could track him and defend him. and. You know, that was a big factor. And, and then just overall, Rodney has been very good in training. And, you know, he won the job because of training and because of those factors. And, you know, we gave him the chance. Um, and I thought he uh, he repaid that faith. He obviously defended really well uh, all game long. And he set up the second goal from sheer, sheer desire and, and, and will to win. And those are those are things that we need in this team to win games, especially at this stage in the season. You know, and we felt with his experience. and. You know, his fight, fighting power, um, you know, his uh, defending uh, and his will to win, that those would be qualities that we were looking for in, in that type of game. With the experience side, did you think that having, you know, more of a, an attacking group that has been here a bit longer um, from a cohesion perspective was helpful? It didn't hurt. You know, that was a group that we uh, ended the year with last year and we had, had good success um, with that group. Um, so we knew there was some natural cohesion. and. You know, I think the biggest thing is is in that front four, you, you have some good dimensions, you have athleticism, you have defending, you have fight, you have pressure, work rate, and experience. Guys, like I said, that have that been in the trenches, you know, those are things that, you know, make a difference, especially at this stage uh, when, the, when the season's on the line. Um, you know, having gone through kind of an MLS cycle, I think that's important, you know, for guys to understand what it's about, and uh, all those guys do. Um, and Will Johnson was, I, I really saw on the team that was, he was injured. Was that reason he was out? How's he doing? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, it's, I think, again, and I've said it, you know, week after week, that it's, there's going to be a process with him recovering. He's now at a year, which a lot of people, when you talk to him about a broken leg, they say it takes a year or more to come back. And, you know, it's, it's going to be sometimes steps forward, steps back. And with Will, he's still having some, slight discomfort in that leg, which is affecting his performance. Obviously, you saw in the New York game, uh, he wasn't able to, to perform and move in, in a way that he's used to moving uh, to be as effective as he can be. So, um, you know, we are evaluating some options and looking at uh, with the medical staff and, and talking to doctors some ways that we can perhaps uh, get him that extra kind of 10, 15 percent. Um, you know, nothing to be alarmed about, but that, you know, we're looking at options. He's evaluating options of how, you know, we can maybe get his leg to to uh, to be back to 100 percent. With the way Jack's been playing, have you guys looked at, you know, maybe giving Will a little bit more rest going down these next games? 
Um, I, I think that's a decision that he needs to make, medical staff needs to make. Obviously, I'll be a part of that, but, but ultimately, um, you know, Will Johnson is a, is a key player for us. So, um, you know, even though Jack's playing well, uh, you know, we need to look at ultimately his performance and some of that performance, a big part of that's based on his movement. Um, you know, so um, I don't think we're going to make a decision that's, that's going to be, we're always going to make decisions that are best for the club. Okay, and, and some of those decisions are what's best for the player as well. But uh, but right now, obviously, Jack's performing well. Um, you know, but with Will, you know, I think there's some things that he's evaluating right now with the medical staff to get back to 100%. Uh, talking to Jack earlier, one of the things that he mentioned as a real positive from the game against the crew was uh, Darlington's uh, tracking back, especially toward the end of the game and putting in that extra defensive effort. How important is getting that from your guys going into these last few games as you, you know, try and secure that playoff spot and move up the table? Well, I said after the game, you know, in this league, the talent differences are, are marginal. And uh, a lot of times winning comes down to desire. It comes down to chemistry, cohesiveness, the intangible qualities, um, experience, leadership, defending, fight, uh, you know, all those things uh, wrapped in one. Um, so. You could see last game we got all that. The chemistry was good, the fight was good, uh, the cohesion was, was good. Um, every player performed at their potential. Um, that's important, right? When you get everybody performing at their potential, you know, you wrap that all together and that, that weaves a performance, a positive performance. And when you, when you have a positive performance, individually and collectively, and when you have all those ingredients that I mentioned, uh, those intangible things that, that play into winning, then you have a good chance to win. When those things are missing, when individual performances uh, based on potential are, are missing across the board, um, even if it's in a couple players, um, if, if you know the chemistry's off, if you know the, the, the fight isn't there, uh, you know the will to win. Um, if anything's slightly off, then you might win, but probably not in this league, because like I said, the talent is so similar. Um, you know, that you do need to have uh, good performances and you do need to have you know, defending and fight and all those little things. So I thought we got that across the board from all 11 guys and, the, and even the three subs when they went in the game, they did a nice job. And that's what we need from here on out. You know, we're not, gonna, we're not so much better than the teams where we can just show up and, and get, uh, you know, a few good performances. Uh, and, you know, we can't just show up and think we'll attack and, and you know, some guys defend and some don't. It needs to be 11 guys defending, 11 guys attacking, 11 guys bought in, 11 guys you know, who want to win, who want to fight, who want to work, who want to make the playoffs. And I thought we got that last game, and we'll need to get that the next game as well. And that's the key. I think I said it. You know, you need, we need a response after the big win. Now. We can't relax at all. Um, but I do like that the table won't allow us to relax. Darlington was obviously big in that game. Was that extra bit of effort, that extra bit of intensity, what – elevated his game above maybe some other ones? I think he's, you know, listen, I, I, I watch every game. I think he's he's good every game, you know. It, is he a little bit better in some games? Yeah. Um, you know, I think he was a little bit better maybe than, than the last game. But he's, he's been pretty good almost every, every single game. But I think his, maybe his aggressiveness both sides of the ball was, was slightly better um, than it had been. Um, you know, maybe 10% better. And yeah, that meant 10% more on both sides of the ball. 10% more aggressive, kind of getting the ball, uh, going to goal, and 10%, you know, better in terms of defending. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, yeah, Thank you.